Look how many people week, have sorry. already gathered around his wow, board. He just, he, just, he just creates, he's the world champion. Yeah. And maybe yeah. he's the best world champion ever. Uh, already at such a young age, um, he has a very unique style. Um, a lot of people compare him to Karpov, but I think he has a very modern style where he avoids a lot of. He's just a great player, mm. and he's a great, you know, great person to have here. Uh, I also saw people on the English Chess Federation complaining that why did he get? Uh, why did he get? When the, the, the they, list. they had a reserve list. <laughs> they basically because this tournament is so popular. If you want to play, book up basically now. And they had a reserve list of players, mm -hmm. and uh, Magnus Carlsen got in on the reserve list. Mm -hmm. And I saw people complaining, uh, "Oh, why did Magnus Carlsen get in when uh, I, you know, twelve hundred me was on the reserve <laughs> list?" And hmm, yeah, well, very, very, very logical argument there. Um, but I don't know. I should stop reading <laughs> this rubbish. Um, but okay, in the game, we had c6. So it looks like things have really changed. So c6. Uh, Queen c2, Magnus is playing sensible moves, b5, and Black has just destroyed his bishop on b7. But I suppose he wants to go a5 mm -hmm. and try to create some play. So uh, bishop b3, a5 was played. Um, and now, interesting little move from Magnus. Magnus just gives up that pawn. He goes h3. Just a little waiting move there. Pawn takes b4. Pawn takes b4. So Magnus doing a little sacrifice, he takes on a8, and now he goes rook a1. So he's given up a pawn, but he's still got very good play for all his pieces. Yeah. Knight d5, and now, oof, look at this. A little tactic. Maybe this was a little blunder. Yeah. Rook takes a8, boom! And rook takes a8, queen takes c6, and that could be the end of the game blunder. Let's have a look. Knight to c7, because you've got your knight and your rook on pre, mm -hmm. so you need to defend them. So knight c7 is the only way to do that. And now, this knight could be the game winner. Bishop takes f7 check, king h8, queen takes e4. But it's funny, because even here, materialistically, it's even. Mm -hmm. Even points materialistically. But White's got this lovely central control here. And you know, I, I want to, yeah, I, I was just, I want to checkmate the Black King somehow yeah. already. Rook f8 was played, by the way, so, okay. uh, yeah. I mean, it'd be normal just to drop the bishop back to b3, because that bishop is a fantastic attacking piece, but it would be nice to checkmate. Yeah, I was, you know, I, I was thinking if I could get my queen to the h file somehow. The problem is the Black Queen, queen is defending h4. I wanted to play something with knight g6. Yeah. And then queen h4, but it's not working. I mean, you could try. You could try. Uh, what about this for a little idea? I mean, queen f5 is a bit risky. But my idea. Look at this. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I want to. I want to create a little bit of art. You go here, and then I go. Okay. You can have my queen. <laughs> oh yeah. This is what we want to see. And you go. Oh no. Oh no. I've lost my queen. And then you go. Pawn takes there, and you go. Wah, <laughs> checkmate. Look at that. Isn't that a beaut? You That's have a created a piece of art, oh, Simon. thank you. That's my piece of art for the day. I'm now happy. So can you go queen f5? I mean, it's kind of move, which is a bit risky, because you're putting yourself pinned. But I'm trying to do the Fiona, the Fiona plan of queen here. Fiona attack. The Fiona attack, <laughs> which is probably a worrying <laughs> queen h5 and knight g6 check. And that's quite a nice little move. g6, d5, opening up this little guy, who's actually quite a big guy, isn't he? Yeah, in, in yeah I'm not sure how you even stop for uh, knight g6 here. No, I, I don't think you can. So, will he go, I don't, queen f5 is risky though. Let's say I go bishop d6 and I try to get rid of, you know, that knight and undermine the bishop, for example. Maybe this is, th maybe this is a good, good way to defend against that. I can't, because unfortunately I can't go knight yeah, g6 check and queen h5 quite yet. And it, unless there's a very strong move here, Queen F5 might be just walking into a nasty pin. Yeah, let's go so back. I'm sure there must be something. No art going on here. Have I, <laughs> have I shot my load? Probably Bishop Bishop B3 just must be the right move to play. I would assume Bishop B3. You know, the bishop's attacked. Why not just move it to a low? It's still on a great diagonal. I've still got the same ideas. Mm -hmm. And I sometimes make way for the knight to come into that square, and I can play this. I can play this quite slowly as well. Um, so I mean, that that'd be the move. Also, bishop c two might be a threat at some point. Yeah. 
sorry, bishop C2. Oh, right, yeah, bishop C2. And we can try to get our little tricky move in again. <laughs> Just <laughs> going for the double bishop checkmate. I mean, it must be winning, it must it be, must winning, be for, winning for, uh, yeah. for, for Magnus. So I think there's no doubt about that. But it'd be interesting to see. And this is one thing I think that a lot of players have the problem of, even much higher rated players converting good positions. But this is one of the things when I, you know, lower rated players come up to me and they, they say, look, could you do something that helps me convert positions where I'm better or winning? Because mm -hmm. I always lose positions where I'm better. And uh, there's no magical formula for that. But you have to not relax is the main thing. Oh, you, you Simon, relax there's a good question in the chat from uh, Young89. What about Bishop G6? G6. Okay, let's have a look. Bishop G6. Seems very straightforward. It seems very straightforward, yeah. Just trying to blast the way through. Yeah. Okay. So you can't take, obviously, because of the mm. fork. So pawn takes, yeah. Knight takes G6. <laughs> and if you don't take, what do you do? I guess you have to play H6, maybe? Yeah. Does black not have anything else? Yeah, Bishop G6, actually. I mean, you, I don't think, yeah. Simple because, I mean, if you go h6, I'll just remove my bishop. Yeah. And then... Maybe, maybe, maybe you can even put it here, you know? Yeah. Maybe just to be fun, put it here. There's no way you can stop my g6 check. That's actually a very That's good a point. Very good move. Like, really what good does move. black do after bishop no, g6? There's no good way to stop that. So let's go back, um, bishop is g6. That just where you went?
a piece of... Uh, Okay, let's I move think on. Let's he's, he's leave win. them to we it. Should go, let's go to Fabiano versus Cram. We to have to. Because Black's attack. Is Black going to try? Well, Black can get c4, knight c5 is one idea. But uh, and white. we have a handshake on board okay. one. So Magnus Carlsen winning his first game. Magnus, by the way, who hasn't won uh, a tournament since Bilbao in July 2016. I think I saw Tarie post last night. Um, Magnus, there hasn't been a year when Magnus hasn't won a tournament since. Since he was born. Since he was born. <laughs> so, yeah. so he really will be looking to win the 2017 Isle of Man International. Yeah, I mean, he, he's, still, he's still the best player in the world, without a shadow of a doubt in my eyes. Yeah. There's no one else who, who is good as Magnus. I mean, people are always going to criticise you if you're the world champion and say, oh, you, you've had a really bad year, but his bad year is still better than anyone else's year. So you can't be too critical. Mm. Um, I mean, this position still, I'm just really finding it hard to work out. I mean, OK, again, let's say I'm white. I'm going to try some funky stuff now. So I'm going to go h4. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. You play, you, you can be, you I can, can be, be you can be father, I can be son. So <laughs> h4. And, 